Hi, I'm here to send you a very special invitation. It's a it's a talk that uh, I'm going to give about um, current research of mine, which is a project about a set of course crash course about mind mathematics. So this is the first public talk of the project. The project is relatively young, like two months ago I have started formally the project. And this talk is not necessarily a course about mathematics, but it contains several important issues about biomathematics. So I'm not getting too much detail here because uh, I'm still working on the detail. This talk is a prototype for a paper that I'm writing right now so let's say i'm reading several books several papers not to make a nice reference and a nice set of reference for the for the paper and i'm going to use that in the talk as well so i expect from this talk to uh, let's say have a feedback from people and helping to improve the paper as a general but however the main reason of the talk to present a project is called a crash course by mathematics we can you can find the, the blog the website you can find the youtube channel which likely will be the 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 channel in which you will see this video the talk will be given in the 4th of february in this on this year 2000, 2007 17 and uh, it will last for one hour but my idea is to is to split out the the time in the half half hours for this talk and the other half hour for question about this this slides and to talk a little bit about the course which is called the crash course by crash course by mathematics if you are interested i would uh, advise you to send me an email then i will let you know by mail if any change happened because you know I uh, make plans and the, since you are like uh, two weeks two weeks ahead this this speed is two weeks ahead of the talk it can have some 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 change such as the room the time and so on so the most important uh, the most the core of the talk is that the uh, we have a new paradigm, which uh, paradigm shift has been in science for, for a long time. However, if you, self, you really stop to think about it, about it, the paradigm shift was not so common. The, the Greek times, if, if scientists such as Aristotle and all the big, all the big, big head, the big mind of the past, they were able to survive for 2,000 years. Newton, which was the next very important paradigm shift which was a mechanistic view of your of your of reality, a mechanistic view, uh, a way in which everything was was divided. That was done mainly by Newton, Descartes, and Galileo, and the other scientists as well. That was a view that was very mechanistic of the universe. So that was very important paradigm shift. Everything was machine, even human. That such as the the work of of Will Harvey, he was able to apply the theory of 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 Newton to the cardiovascular system, and it was very successful. So that was one of the the, the biggest triumph of the, of the, the mechanistic view of reality. However, it just lasted for two two hundred years. So you have like the the, the Greek time was a tenfold bigger than in the, the ideas of Newton. Now we have one that I believe will not be this so fast, it will be something that is here to stay, it's called biomathematics, theoretical biology, mathematical biology, system biology, or, uh, it doesn't matter the name you call it, bioinformatics, it doesn't matter the name you call it, it's just the idea in which we, we have another way to see reality, which is not necessary necessarily the, the the old ideas of, of biology of a of the life science and so on i'm not intend to answer this question i'm just to discuss it and to, uh, and to, and to even to ask to make a provocative question can you say that in biology and in so on we have this kind of um, of the of the of the of, uh, of the effectiveness of mathematics or not so that's and more we're going to discuss in the talk so i, I expect to see you there you send me a mail, then I go to let you know if you have any delay.